Hello, welcome to Hard Lore Between Two Furnaces, live at Furnace Fest. How's it going, Bo? It's going so good. And very special guest today. Got some fun anecdotes for him. <laughs> Carl from Earth Crisis. The reason I'm straight edge. Ooh. Three uh, of the last edgemen left. <laughs> <laughs> How does that Sitting happen? right here. Still, still vegan, still straight edge. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm Excellent. doing good. Thanks for uh, having me on. Absolutely. You guys had a wonderful set. The set it of the was, weekend, I would say. Set, so far, set of the weekend. It we've been fun. watching this stage kind of a lot because it's right there, you know? It was fun. It was awesome. I, would, I described it as Earth Crisis sounds like they practice three times a week. Do you guys practice a lot? Um, we always make sure we rent a rehearsal studio. Wow. And we run the set a bunch before we play. Yeah, we I do. Mean, it, no joke. You can show. tell. You can tell. You guys yeah. sounded great. It was awesome. Yeah. You've been a band for over 25 years now. Is that, is that accurate? What we, what was All Out War, 93 or 94? All Out War was uh, 92. 92! Yeah. The price was wrong. <laughs> and uh, next year, 2023, will be the 30th anniversary of Firestorm. Holy shit. Yeah. <sighs> so Three X's in huge. Roman numerals. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's... I mean, it that's, there's itself. there's the shirt, brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you know, it'll probably be, yeah, we could have three wrenches, three sets of wrenches. Oh, my God. Yeah. You heard it here. Hard lore exclusive. We have a very Destroy the Machine set. Oh, yeah, this right is now. straight up. I look up, I hear, nah, nah. We did this for you. Yeah. We had this all set up. Um, he said that you're a reason why he's straight edge. I would love to ask you the same question. Does, or, but not so much reason, because obviously that can get a little personal, a little whatever. But more like, are there specific bands, people? Like other than Minor Threat, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I absolutely will always love Youth of Today and Judge and Department of Youth Services. My first tattoo is the Youth of Today tat. The, oh, that's The awesome. Red X back there. That's Got it awesome. when I was 16. <laughs> Very cool. Love Youth of Today. Yeah, and for me, you know, Straight Edge was the title for how I had always chose to live and what I always believed, you know. I saw uh, drugs and alcohol lead to a lot of problems for certain relatives, you know, not yeah. my immediate family, but relatives. And um, as I started to get a little older, I absolutely knew I was on, on the right path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I just turned 31. I still feel the same way. So thanks for that. Thirty-four, same way. Same yeah. way. Three again. Three of the last I'm ones 51. left. Fifty-one. <laughs> Are you Let's really? Go, dude. Yep. Could I would never known. I would never yep. know. Holy. Forty-five moly. tops. I would have guessed. <laughs> Fifty-one. Let me ask you this: as a longtime vegan, longtime tour guy. Yeah. Vegan options are kind of everywhere now. Yeah, I it's, feel like in in some ways uh, we're kind of winning. Absolutely. Dude. I would say even if it's from a capitalist standpoint, where it's like. Taco Bell's like, well, we can get 8% more of the market if we do this. There's Whatever. still something now where that yeah. if you're on the fence about becoming vegan, you can kind of at this point be like, well, I can kind of eat anywhere so I might as well. Yeah, it's definitely, it's easier now than it's ever been. It's yeah. probably going to get even easier in the future. Absolutely. Do you, and again, I don't want to get political or anything like that, but do you feel weird about let's say you know, in Europe, they got the McVegan or whatever. Would you feel weird about going to a McDonald's? I think that if we support that, they'll continue with it. That's exactly. That's, that's the way to think. That's about how it. I feel. So well. I actually think it's important to support it. Yeah. You there know, you go. but of course I'm going to choose a genuine, a local spot. organic, yeah. locally owned, independent restaurant or grocery store or food co-op every time. It's, you know? it's just kind of a, a theme that we talk about on the show so much as like you're on the road. You got to pull over. You have forty-five minutes tops to eat, and you're in the it's middle. It's really of the Nebraska. one thing we all have in common as touring bands is like you got to stop and eat at some point. Yeah. Yeah. And now you can do that. We're yeah, in like yeah. the Earth Crisis Japanese tour documentary. <laughs> you guys are like yeah. fucking fish is in everything. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. And yeah. now I don't know about Japan, but here, there's no fish in the in the Impossible Whopper. Yeah. You right. Know? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot easier. I was coincidentally watching old Fireside videos. I'm from Chicago. Coincidentally watching just like old 90s 
from like Alkaline Trio and AFI and Earth Crisis. Fireside Bowl. Yes, sir. And there's an amazing video of Shane Merrill from The Killer, friend of the show, longtime booker, does almost every show in the Rumble in Chicago, of turning to the camera during Firestorm and like walking out of the room, but singing along as he's like leaving. And it's just a great, it was over. amazing. Yeah, because it was the last song in the yeah. set. But it's just like an amazing. So I, that was just fresh on my mind today watching you guys play it. And uh, do you have any fond memories of the fireside? Because it was a real piece of shit for a long time. But it was like the spot in Chicago. I, mean, I loved it. It had, uh, it was a nice size room, had decent system, low stage, yeah, low no stage. barrier, no security. It, it was it was a great spot for yeah. live hardcore. It, and it was like a real, it was. it's a literal functioning bowling alley, still is. They don't do shows anymore, unfortunately, but it. So you can still bowl, but yeah. you can't spin kick. Exactly. The spin yeah, kick can. policy has changed. It's changed. You can it. still try. <laughs> I, Fireside, I might be put, strapping on some peewee shoes and <laughs> putting to the test, all right? All right, Carl, I got, a, I got another fun anecdote for you. I used to play in a little band called Fight Everyone. Yes. You were in the vocal minority of supporters. <laughs> uh, and our mutual friend, Polly Edge, told me that you guys participated in a call maybe once a year that some, went along something along the lines of, who do we still got? Yeah, it's true. I think that at this point now, I should be conferenced in on that call. <laughs> Yes. You you're, still got me. Yeah, w yes, you are absolutely included. <laughs> Just saying, you know. Who do we still got? Must save during Armageddon. You're on the list. Very nice. How about that? You heard, uh, that's a hard lore exclusive. You're in the bunker. I'm in the bunker. Yeah, Bo's in the bunker. <laughs> Who do we got? We're, we're coming to get you in All the right. Road Warrior vehicle. We're going to get you out. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yep. We got three-fifths of harm's way. Three-fifths, four-fifths, four-sixths. Anthony, too. Shit, almost everyone in God's Hate. Oh, no. Five sixths. Five sixths of God's Hate. Of God's Hate. So it's only Martin who's honorary. Who is honorary. You dubbed yeah, him honorary. He told us you're, he's so honorary. So breaking news God's Hate is a straight edge man. <laughs> Thank you, Carl, for the the honor. Absolutely. Who do we got, though? <laughs> oh, dude. The list is condensed. <laughs> <laughs> the list has been pared down, <laughs> unfortunately. Reduced, as they say. But I mean, you know, there's there's plenty of straight edge brothers and sisters. There's plenty of vegan straight edge brothers and sisters. There's there's a lot of true hardcore. I mean, I I definitely think we we are an actual tribe at this point. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's After 30 years, I mean, we've we've been to so I think we've been to 27 foreign countries. You know, we've been to maybe. I think 40, 47 or 48 states. You know? Where are we, Alaska, Hawaii? or yeah. We have not been to Alaska, Hawaii. Alaska, Hawaii, if and you're watching. Montana? Like, what could the... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Montana. Yeah. Yeah. That's a Great Plain. What? Is that in the Great Plains? Oh, I think so. Maybe. Sorry. Okay. I did not catch that. I didn't, I didn't get them. Too smart for this yeah, motherfucker at this point. Me. Well, I was saying, who do we got? And I feel, this is just me personally. Whenever somebody breaks, I get stronger. <laughs> Do you feel it that way? At 51, you said? I'm 51. 51. A lot have come and gone since then. Yeah, you, Rich, Richie from Wisdom and Chain says that he loves when people sells out because he wants to be the last man standing. <laughs> he won't be. He will not be. No, he will not. He's not going to stand past you. No, he's on the list. He's, he's on the us. list. Yeah. <laughs> Richie, impossible friend of the show. Jotham, for sure, a friend of the show. Yep. What do you got for him? Uh, it was something along the lines of, I was talking to, to Vogel a long time ago, and he was talking about how, you know, late 80s, especially in Buffalo and, and the Northeast, it was, everything was youth crew. Yeah. Everybody was youth crew, top to bottom. And then? And then, well, first, integrity came around, is mm -hmm. what Scott said, it was it was integrity, and it just like, the next day, People don't have posi tops anymore. People are wearing like dark clothing mm. and no sportswear and shit. And then dark HC, dark as HC they say. became a thing. But then Earth Crisis came around yeah. and had both, the, both, and a harder, more metallic influence kind of musical vibe, and became like 
the band of that era of that type of music. Does and now you're still making tracks, still kicking ass. New record. Vegan for the animals. Vegan for the animals. Yep, it's it's up online. It's up on Spotify. The vinyl is uh, going to be here at some point this yeah. fall. So. That's, so that's the name of the game. Now, yeah. that, that fucking Nirvana box set set us yeah. all back Adele about eight to, months. Adele had to put out 11 versions yeah, of her yeah. record, so we're all waiting on vinyl. But right. it's coming. Vegan for the animals. Smash will be smashed. Studio recording. Yep. Huge. Yeah, it was, it was something I've wanted to do for a long, long time. And I was really glad... We got like, you know, uh, some quality sound on those. We went to my buddy uh, Sal's studio up in uh, Central Square, a little north of Syracuse, and we spent a lot of time. And we, I think, we really crafted it as as well as we could. And um, yeah, the record should be out soon. Kind of a loaded question for you, but of the Path of Resistance cover, of the the crew pick on the cover. Who do we got? Dude, I'll tell you what. At least half. Wow. That's very That's unbelievable. Very and I will impressive. say this, too. The girls in that photo are still Edge. Fuck yeah. Yeah. You heard it here. Hardcore exclusive. Yeah, so. The girls on the path of resistance. Pro- props to the sisterhood for holding true. That's amazing. Huge. I remember, and th- this is no joke, the first time Convicted uh, played Syracuse, I remember thinking, like, oh, man. Like, what if one of them is here? This is where like path is from, man. Yeah. This is fucking like I remember that. It was a real thing. It was important to me at you know, I was in high school when I got into I was a youth crew guy, like through and through, and then I kind of got started getting into heavier music, you know? So Path and Earth Crisis were like a part of that of like that transition. Not thing. me, man. Yeah, he's the opposite. I, I went I went punk youth crew hardcore and he went I had satisfaction to up my ass <laughs> day one, all right? And destroy the machines. Ask, ask so. him about the uh, the Marauder quote. Oh, classic quote from you. From you, that is is cir- cycled in the God's Hate group chat and ethos. <laughs> Master Killer, masterpiece. It is. <laughs> it is to we, this day. It, I, I think every five years, every ten years, something comes out that is just phenomenal. You know. So I would say. You know, sick of it all, blood, sweat, no tears. Absolutely. That's the other one somebody said I had up my ass at first. Um, so, Chrome Eggs, Age of Quarrel. Yeah, easy. Judge bringing it down. Yeah. Um, Killing Time, Bright Side. That's easy. the goat, dude. Yeah, that's. Yup. And this is going to be a weird one for Agnostic Front to hear, but I, I would definitely say one voice. Dude, Andrew Baker. 100%. Yeah. Just, just happy as ever. We right our, our circle agrees. Yeah. Yup. Yep. And. Mad Ball uh, set it off. Absolutely. And absolutely. For the 90s, I would say Marauder Master Killer. Yep. I, and I don't think a better record has come out. Since then. Since it's then. A, it's legit. Like, the Masterpiece thing is as funny as it is, like, musically factual. Yeah. Yeah, it's for sure. Production, lyrics, riffs, That was another drums. thing. I got, a, I got a burn CD by a friend of mine. In the early 2000s, and he was like, "Here, check this out." Because again, I was only into youth crew shit, and it was well. So it was Age of Quarrel oh, immediately oh. into Master Killer. Oh, Damn, and here's dude. two. Here's two other important. Well, three. I'll say Conviction. Yep. From Pennsylvania for sure. Um, All Out War, Destined to Burn. That's that's the the one you think is the masterpiece. I Over. Think, I think like every five, ten years, something comes out. And you just okay. know it's going to be uh, magic forever. You I feel that I mean? way about yeah. Truth and the Age of Lies start to finish. Like, that's the one, like, cr- dude, Cross of Disbelief, like track seven or something, <laughs> yeah. buried in the middle is like this, uh, this like metallic hardcore opus. That's my benchmark. If I'm starting to write a song, I go, all right, what does Cross of Disbelief <laughs> do? How do I do that again? All of our incredible. Yes, yes. The, well, re- did you the record the- and the, the band. Yeah. You know? <laughs> did you have a third? Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. And Zero Tolerance Face the Panic. Ooh. Scott Vogel just... Yeah, I'm just very very happy Vogel. you said that. Vogel's yeah, I saw him three times at the Underground in Syracuse, and they were phenomenal. Excellent. Any, any newer Straight Edge bands you're into right now? Yes. Everybody should check out Stand Alone. 
from Syracuse. Great new straight edge band. Not like super new, but you know. Yeah. I think they're great. And uh, check out my guitar player Scott's band, uh, Tooth and Claw. Tooth and Claw. There you go. Love it. Well, that's all. I, I, that's all we got I just for think you. Our guitar player Scott's new band, yeah. new straight edge band. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking awesome. It's that's the best. Very cool. Yep. I love we, that. We still. So when I'm asked, Colin, who do we got? I can all. I know I can always say Earth Crisis. Yep. You know, but yeah, the next year you got to conference me into the call. All right. <laughs> but that's it. That's all we got that's for it. today. That's all, that's all we're talking about. Thank you for being on our show. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. And. uh this was fun just talking about music. It's the best. Absolutely. Yeah, this is all, all we, we ever, do. That's all we do. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We get paid for this. Can you believe <laughs> it's that? beautiful. But that was, that was Carl from Earth Crisis, the reason I'm straight edge. So thank you, Carl. Thank you for watching this. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.